What is up everyone? So it has been a week without videos, which is the longest I think I've missed um, in like three years, which is, which is nuts. Uh, the last time you guys saw me, we were at Lime Rock. Uh, we got to drift the road course and it was a life-changing experience to be honest. And then the following day, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna film it. I'm gonna just enjoy myself and take in the whole experience and I'm happy I did. I drove amazing, I'm super proud of myself. I had the time of my life and it was just overall amazing. Shout out to Gridlife for having us. But shortly after, uh, I got pretty damn sick. So I spent like the whole week trying to nurse myself back to health because today we are taking a very important trip. Now I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, I'm just, I'm just slow. <laughs> it's been, it has been a long week. It's my first time out and I'm just, uh, just bear with me. But today we are taking a trip down to Maryland to visit our buddies down at method auto group to pick up two cars this is the maryland crew this weekend we're here <laughs> and we're hiding all right so today is monumental because we are picking up two vehicles one for steve and one for eddie as you guys know we've been making hints at um getting stevie an import for a very long time and we did we got it was like three, we purchased it like what three months ago I think right three months ago we grabbed it so it's been out, it's been in states for a little bit but today we finally have, have the opportunity to pick it up and on top of that Eddie was also able to purchase one of his uh, dream cars I'd say for sure and uh, it's a really really big deal we'll talk about more of it later but we have a six hour drive ahead of us so let's just get to it sound good let's do it. away from good old Gaithersburg Maryland G bird we on the way so this is a big this is a big moment Steve you and Eddie are about to get your new cars is it feel real yet it feels very real give me a smile god damn so it. excited I'm smiling can't you see just all the feel all the energy radiating Eddie give me a smile this is a big Eddie smile trust me <laughs> <laughs> does it feel real yet Let's get in there. Let's get in there. So uh, if you guys haven't realized, uh, Steve and Eddie got their cars from Japan. So to get it here, we had to go through a service or a broker or whatever you want to consider it. And of course, we went through Method Auto Group. Hit them up. If you guys have probably seen us before, um, they helped us import my Chaser. Um, they're a business we work with very closely. They're really good friends of ours. Um, they import cars from Japan. Simple as that. If you guys want anything yourself, hit them up. We'll put them right here. Um, they always have cars coming in or they can really help you find exactly what you want and do the whole process for you at a very affordable rate well steve is gonna have his first car to get him into being a car guy so it's a big deal <laughs> yeah i guess so it's a good i'm gonna consider this a good transitioning car great transitioning car so uh thick body <laughs> <laughs> we can ramble on forever but uh we're almost there and i'm excited to see the homies and finally see both of you guys cars because uh i'm happy for both of you so what am i saying they didn't believe in me jim did oh shit <laughs> look at all these mini trucks god damn we should, we should put one in the bed of the truck we should we're one mini truck down right now that's a daihatsu right there oh i'm not getting out of here if i pull in whatever we'll figure it out i'll drive one home james you let me know you would hate yourself at dropping that back home, James. I'd do it for you, James. I, I would do it for you. Bullshit. I'd do it. I'd do it for you, I want to buy it just to see you. Go ahead, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, huh. It looks like the cherry hatch is so funny. Yeah, it does. Um, I'm gonna park right here. Oh yeah, he's got it. 
hit my head on that mirror. Watch that, and your dad will get you a ticket. <laughs> Stop playing games you with block this gate. So no one steals nothing. Yeah. No, I'm stealing nothing. Ooh, where is it? Ooh, I see it. I feel like I always need to like figure out to make this like big, like drum roll or like pull the. We need like a, a big red velvet cloth for when we buy new cars. We can just pull it off and make it super elaborate. But uh, we're just gonna have Steve point to it when he's ready. Ninety-six Nissan Cedric. Right, this one's a Cedric, right? Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo. Gran Cedric. Gran Turismo. Non-turbo. Non-turbo. Auto. This is the cleanest car I think I've ever seen from Japan. By the way. Chris, what grade In was this, this? Grade four. Four A. Holy shit! Hold on, come back here. So come, look at this. Look at this. Look, look how cool. Zoom in on that thing real quick. Holy shit, dude! Look, even the lights. This would have yeah. been unbelievable. So, so grade cool. 4A, if highest you, if grade. If you believe in the auction. Quattro. It depends. It depends. Dude, look at the, Steve, look at the lighting. Like usually, at least, the, okay, we got a little scuff here. That's what happens. You know, Steve, Steve's probably going to leave a couple of those in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big body car. Um, but the lights, you, like, the lights. Are Headlights. Are these glass? Glass. Yeah, glass. I think there's HIDs in these shoes. HIDs. So Steve, hold on. Oh my God, look at the wheels. Very clean. Beyond you getting like an import car, by the way, you just got a beautiful new <laughs> car. This thing looks like a 2022. 2022, 1996 Nissan Cedric. Slick top. I'm gonna christen it real quick. What was my, that, I'm gonna christen it real quick with my brother's Jays. Rest in peace. <laughs> that was mine. I own it. Oh, can we pull this out in the center real quick? And then this thing. Yeah, yeah. and then Eddie's with his tour of V. Eddie, what do you think? How's it feel, buddy? It feels real, finally. Yeah. Yeah. Pop, Looks like pop the hood on this thing. Actually. We gotta see it. There we go. That's it. That's the money maker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the Jay-Z Club, Eddie. Picking them up. Shouts the method. Uh, there's something. There's something. Two piece, other. three piece. Interior looks nice. It's missing headrests, but besides that, it looks clean. Might be in the trunk. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Cool. Full kit. When it comes to Jay Z and Mark II's are the move. Look at this rear taillight. It's the best thing ever. I love it. So good. So good. God damn, that trunk's big. I told you, get the bodies in this it's thing. It's deep. How's Eddie doing over here? I'm all right. Hey, he, yeah, you doing good? good? He's yeah. got a lot of take in. He's got a lot of take in. Damn, Steve, the fog lights. Those are so cool. Fire. Fire. So sick. <laughs> the aesthetic of this car is unreal. You don't see this very often. So this is a Nissan Cedric, which is also the same as a Gloria. Gloria. So the Gloria and the Cedric are almost the same car. I think the Gloria, they say the Gloria is, has a sport. It says the Gloria has a sportier trim, but uh, man. Does it fit me, Jim? Let's see how far this goes. Down. I hope it's big man friend. That's a big ass car. Oh, automatic, automatic seats. Yeah, I'm good. You gotta lounge back, that's how you drive it. AC bumping too. And the interior is super, super, super clean. How many miles are on this thing? How many kilometers? Thir uh, I think it's 50,000? Yeah, 50,000. So what's that, like 30,000 miles? Yeah, just about. Need some gas. Damn, this shit. This shit dead right, bro. <laughs> Waited a little while for this, but here we go. We got some plans for it. Damn, look at that center console. Luxurious. I just want to show everything at once. I'm like kind of, I'm like personally overwhelmed myself. This is like, like I'm so in awe about how nice the car is. Like I'm not even taking like what the hell the car is. Uh, oh my God. Battery. They got a little dash cam too, isn't it? What? 
I saw this online too. It has uh, cup holders. No way. It does have a dash cam, huh? Yeah. So y'all can't do no funny shit when y'all pull me over. <laughs> Steve, I guess first question is, what was about the Cedric that uh that spoke to you? Huh? Big body. Uh-huh. Um, I wanted like a big boy car. Uh something like VIP style. They got the Toro ripping over there. Um, cruiser, so it's supposed to be very quiet. Wow. That's nice. That's really nice. Really quiet. So you wanted the big body? Big body, Yakuza Cruiser. Um, I thought it was very unique, the front end and stuff. I don't see any of these at like car events when we go to it. Yeah, sure. I don't think I've ever really never seen them. Um, yeah. I've seen them online, people. but yeah, you're right. You never see them in person. Never see them. And these things are cool because they're so boxy. Mm-hmm. I liked it. It was a big body sedan. It's just a I, mean, I thought it was gangster. Your first car was what? A Maxima? A Maxima. Does this like have that Maxima vibe almost? This definitely has a Max vibe. Like a, yeah, like a, like a, it feels like I'm in a Maxima, like a 1996 Maxima. So we said Steve got a good transitional car guy car. That's why I'll call this because yeah. I don't think this is a car that he'll ever feel the need to like turbo, go crazy with it, or do all this, more or less to kind of get into it yeah. in the aspects of styling and enjoying the vibe of having a, a, mod a, mod a modifiable um, car that gives you the same energy as what we're into, if that makes sense. Yeah, or I mean, is that a ramble? I don't know, I'm still nah, brain nah. dead. I thought that was good, G. A uh, modifiable car, something that I could look cool with you guys with all <laughs> your crazy toys and shit, you know? so. I don't know, I thought this was really cool. I want to do, you know, slight VIP stylings or just like- Yeah, add your touch to it. Add my touch to it. Uh, I'm open to suggestions. I can't wait just to go for like, make you do all the driving. Cause this thing is like- <laughs> This shit's crazy. Like beyond it being like, a jet, I keep saying it's car just, it feels like it's off the lot. Like if there was a bring a trailer Cedric, this is it. This is this it. This is it. The AC's busting in here too. So uh, I'm Oh, it, it's touchscreen, huh? Yeah. No way. God, it's so Man, 90s. Very responsive. And all the cells are there. They're not dead. Usually all these cars have like dead cells. Yeah. Um, besides that, I mean, it's cup holders. pretty, oh, that's good. Pretty see, standard see, issue. You can lift it up. Never been smoked in. That's good. Anything in the rear. I'm trying to find the uh, AV. Yeah, so I'm trying to see if I can oh hook up. Oh my God, up. no, they have the. Yeah, so I can hook my camera up to this little screen because it has a TV. There's no way. Yeah. No way, we gotta get that figured out. Yeah, we have to get like PlayStation One in here. A place, a PS One. Hell yeah! That'd be so. It's dude. It, it's got. It's got half the stuff you need. Yeah, this is sick. I'm so stoked. Oh my god. The, the interior is. I don't know if it translates on camera, but it's. It's dope that it's like Man. dark because I feel like it. It kind of feels like black interior. Like. Yeah. I don't know. I think it is black because like my chaser, the chaser has black interior, but if you look at like. The JZX100 interiors are not like truly black. It's more of like a really dark gray. gray yeah. And that's what this is, so. This is everything I could have imagined, everything I could have hoped for. Super grateful. All right, next thing we do have to show is what's underneath the hood of this thing. Jesus Christ, that trunk is huge. Steve, get in there. Steve, get in there. Get in there. Get your ass in there. Come on, Steve, I'm 6'2". <laughs> Don't do it, please, please, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> Big Trump. This thing's sick. Second time I've seen it, but it's still amazing how pristine the underneath is, the engine bay, the interior. Oh yeah, we need to look underneath. See, Ain't what? no northeast car. I think the front end of this car has to be the coolest part. Between the styling and the lights, it's just unreal. Jesus Christ, what is that? That is a VQ30. Very interesting. <laughs> It actually doesn't look that miserable to work on. It looks like you got plenty of room. Really? I was expecting a cluster in here. Yeah, I know you guys were just saying that. It was gonna Dude, be Ant, look how much room there is to work on this thing. Nothing. What do you mean? Look at all this room. All right, a little bit of room. It's a, it is a VQ30. So as you guys know, the 3MZX comes with a VG30. So you guys have probably heard of a VG30 before but maybe not a VQ30. I don't think I've ever heard of a VQ30, but this is it, right? This when you think it. of VQ, you think of 350Zs, right? You got mm -hmm. a VQ35. V6. 1996? Six, yeah. I didn't realize the VQ engine code started that early. When I thought it was a VG, I was worried. 
because originally I thought this was a VG and I was like, oh, Steve, you gotta watch out. <laughs> but, I mean, it's a VQ, so it's a little bit more modern tech, and it looks very accessible, which is really nice stuff. Man. A good looking car, man. Well, uh, let's do the B-roll thing. Not without me. <laughs> Whip this thing, Steve. What, what you running in this for gas, Steve? Let me hear it. 93. Yes, sir. Oh, Proud of you for that one, Steve. 93. Damn. Jeff. It feels good on the other side, boys. Obviously, it's not fast, but it's not the slowest thing I've ever been in. It, it definitely moves. It'll get out the way. It'll get out the way. That's all you need. When Big Steve's on the freeway and he needs to get out of the way, so cool, man. Jam. This wouldn't be possible without you, bro. Bro, I am here for it, bro. This wouldn't be possible without you. Whole squad's winning, buddy. Oh, oh dude. This is so cozy. The massage and seats, too. Oh, damn, look at that. I think it, yo, I think it's like smoother than the chaser. This thing is smooth as butter. Dude. I just want to go drive around, dude. I just want to do bad things. Battery! Oh, yeah. What's that? Oh, it has LSD! It has an LSD! What is it? Auto lock? It has an LSD. It has an LSD? Yeah. Hey. Okay. Outside. What do you think of it, Eddie? Good. It's good? It's good. Not bad for a 26 year old car. Not at all. Not, Not at all. Looks good outside. Yeah, I got a first time. Let's hear that noise. Let's hear that noise. I got my camera. She loud. Woo! Jay Z, baby. Yeah, it's impressively loud. While I'm here, I want to document this on the internet because it seems to be something that's a little never fully answered in form. So, Jay-Z X100, right? We have a Cresta Mark II Chaser. You guys know the deal. You have the Jay-Z X and then you have the GX, right? And everyone has this weird debate of what you have to change to put a one Jay-Z into a GX, right? Mm. The GX comes with this ugly, the one G, which is this ugly 2.0 straight six. Why did Toyota offer it? I don't know. But the goal in everyone's brain is to eventually swap in a 1JZ GTE, right? This is the goal. This, yeah. is, this, is, this is the engine, right? E1. And everyone's always curious about what do you have to swap in order to fit that engine? And I feel like I always see some crazy answers and I feel like I see the subframe being a very common answer. So Chris has a GX100 and he just happened to pick up a crashed GZX100 Toro V. And so he's been kind of trying to swap parts over to do an OEM swap in the GX, right? And so he's learned a couple of things and he just shared it with me. The big thing I see is everyone thinks the subframe is different. That's always the big comment on the forums. And well, according to Chris, as I break his grill off, uh, his subframe is identical. GX to JZX100. Boom. Mystery solved. Big deal. So <laughs> that is a big deal though, because trying to source 
A JZX 100 subframe would be so annoying if you actually needed one. So if you have a GX subframe fits, you can bolt the JZ in there. Now the only difference, well there's a couple little differences, but the wiring. The wiring is the big difference. So don't expect the JZX 100 wire harness to plug directly into your GX chassis. What Chris notices is there's a couple small things the engine bay that don't plug in, and of course the actual main plugs for the chassis to the engine harness are completely different. So if you're gonna swap it in, be ready to splice together two harnesses, find those pinouts, get a little groovy with it, and make it work. Um, if not, you can get a crash tour V and swap the entire chassis harness over and everything will be great. So <laughs> with that, I am so happy we were able to confirm this with the X100 community because I'm sick of seeing that comment everywhere, but it'll bolt in. Just good luck with the wiring. So we got Methods open house popping off. It's great vibes. Good weather, good friends, and look who decided to show up, hey, Mr. Worldwide. Out of the dirt, bro. You might have recognized this guy from that headlamp commercial. Don't even. Why are you bringing up old shit? <laughs> Why are you bringing up old shit, man? <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna send you an invoice for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it, get it. What do you think of uh, Stevie's new whip? I think I need that. Yeah, you're I into think it. I need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get the title. <laughs> I got you, no, bro. That shit is seriously, like, honestly, nice as shit. We were sitting in it for a few minutes. No scratches, no scuffs, no dirt, no. Bullshit. And that's coming from you. You're picky. Yeah, bro. That shit is. You nice. are. You the pickiest. That shit is nice. Not like the armrest on the on the uh, door cards not peeling up. Did you see the uh, dash cam? I did. He pointed yeah, it so out. They can't mess with me. You know what I mean? I got that footage. I'll run it back on your ass in court. <laughs> what they talking about? <laughs> Imagine how hard that front end's gonna look once it slams. Bro. In the dirt. Why are you so goddamn close to me, bro? Listen, 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 listen. In the dirt. I don't know what wheels, but them spokes playing hide and seek. <laughs> Dude, what wheels? That's gonna be the hard pick. Can you help us choose wheels, Aiden? So okay. I'm thinking something big. No, because he's gonna say some OEM BMW nah, nah, wheels. Nah, nah, you don't know me like that, bro. I think I know him too. Like that. I got my flip side, Chief. Listen, yeah, he's yeah. some fat five spoke. Taking he's popping out with the mini cubes. He's gotta be popping out me? with the clean whip and clean wheels. No crusty shit. None of that. We'll get you right. You heard him though. He said no crusty shit. So I'm just. I'm it's just funny because I know Stevie's gonna pull up and hit a couple switches. <laughs> you're not gonna know he's gonna pull up though because he's gonna pull up quiet. You hear some crazy <laughs> shit. Look over. You're gonna hear that bumper flex when it hits the ground. And I'm ready for that. Yeah. yeah. Support. I love the energy. Thank you, Aiden. And you. Silver too. Silver's hard. Silver's an underrated color. I love silver. Because not only does it hide imperfections, it shows off body lines. It always looks clean. And when it's actually clean, that's Shit is milky. Oh, dude, look at it right now. It looks good right now. I'm not gonna lie. Mike, look at you cheesing out here. Yeah, y'all did me right. I did me right, but y'all did me right. So I meant to. So I meant to actually say this earlier, and I completely neglected it. So I didn't really want an influence. I didn't want to have too much of an influence on Stevie picking his first Japanese car. And you were kind of like laid back on it. We, I let Stevie. I let Stevie. I, I gave him my nod. But I let Stevie pick it. Steve, this was 100% Steve right here. Yeah, I did that. And this is what's cool about it. This is 100% Steve. No direct influence. Just let him do his thing. And uh, can't did you wait. well? You did, did you, you did good? Yeah, you good? I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. Yeah, 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 big hug. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. What was you going to say, Aiden? I just noticed the bumpers and the rockers are all one height. So when that shit lays out, it's the whole car, bro. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to see any light <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be silly. Go. Boom. <laughs> All right, so we're wrapping up a great night here at Metal Auto Group's uh, open Flawless. house. Steve has been chilling in his car, yeah, hanging out, feeling the vibes, <laughs> playing music on uh, his freshly blown JDM speakers. <laughs> <laughs> get me some new speakers, guys. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. So um, we gotta get back. I gotta edit this. Uh, but we'll be here tomorrow, we'll be hanging out. I don't know if I'm gonna film it or not, but uh, we're gonna end it here so I can get this video tamed and I can get it edited up and drop it for you guys because I've missed way too many. So Steve, Eddie, I am hyped for both of you guys. I'm very excited to see where they- DJ and T-Bone hiding on the corner too. What up? <laughs> not doing nothing suspicious under here. You're always suspicious. It just kind of comes to the territory, but uh, very excited to see where both cars go and how you enjoy them throughout the next couple well, like Stevie threatened to physically abuse me if I didn't pull up. I just wanted to see my butt, that's all it was. So sometimes you gotta use We just wanted you to share this moment with us, yeah, big this moment. This shit was unbelievable. Here we go, but for now, we're gonna leave it there so you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Aiden, have a good night. Palm, oh. you, you palm it. <laughs>